What is up, YouTubers? It's Lugal with Lugal's Outdoors. And a very tired Michael. Undoubtedly, he stayed up all night last night playing uh, games. No, actually, I just woke back up at about 2 o'clock in the morning and didn't go back to sleep. <laughs> That's his excuse, at least. But it's okay. I managed to bug him into going camping with me. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's pretty excited about getting in a hammock. Have you ever hammock camped before? I have not hammock camped before. About to bust a sherry. Don't say it like that. Two guys on a camping trip, about to bust one sherry. But that's not... All right, whatever. <laughs> Let's get down here and get these hammocks set up. Should be a pretty quick uh, trip. As far as walking in, it's uh, no more than Penis. a mile. And then you got Mike in the background. I'm not going to suit you that. That's what he does randomly. He just talks about that constantly. Well done. Usually you take a retake. <laughs> but yeah, now if I had a, if I had a dollar for every time I've had to take a retake by <laughs> taking my friends out camping with me, I would have I wouldn't have to uh, ever work again. <laughs> it's probably just from solely bringing me along. <laughs> yeah, for real. Up there's the tower, by the way. You can probably see that. We're at Birch Knob. It's that time of the year. Luckily, all the nettles that hasn't uh, hasn't grown really from here, but kind of nice knowing that you know it's still kind of dead here but it's spring you know you can go where the thing and nettles as much camping spot I've missed this place this is my favorite camping spot in the entire world ease of access it's not too far in and tons of options up here as well as an emergency shelter if we need it but I usually just sleep in my hammocks out here it's nice to see that it's still preserved really well I have to give a big shout out to the Pine Mountain Trail Committee for what they do and all the work that they put into this place it's an amazing area so uh, really it is. There's actually a geocache up here, which I'm not going to tell where it's at, of course, because it's not what you do with geocaching. But, yep, yeah, it's a little cool box. Uh, I mean, they actually have a pretty good lock box for it. It's uh, not got a lot of stuff in here, just a couple toys and stuff. So if there's ever any kids up here, it would be a cool thing for them. But uh, for the adult, which actually I want to check this out. Is that a Pine Mountain Trail thing? No, it's just Kentucky coin. So, uh, anyways, Kentucky has its own currency. Uh, it's, it's just one of Kentucky like coins that they use, just uh, like tourist attraction things. Anyways, so there's a logbook with it. I'm going to definitely log into it with my uh, my username for this. I've got a piece of quartz. I'm going to go ahead and drop in here, and that's uh, what I'm going to donate to it. I'm not taking anything out, of course. And that's fun about geocaching. It's not always about what you get. It's about what you give too. So you have to always have something cool. But it's kind of cool how they took a notebook and just kind of cut it in a little strip like this. I've never this. seen them do that in one of the geocaches. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and sign this. God, there's been a lot Dude, of people you, up here. I want to look at that after you're done. Holy crap, there's been a lot of people up here. They've done a lot of work to this cabin since I've been up here last. We're not going to be staying in the cabin tonight, I don't think. I, I want to try to stay outside of it, but uh, what is today? I'm sleeping whenever I hit the ground. 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Today is the 25th of March, so 2016. We're the first people to be here in 2016 to actually log into this thing. Sweet. Since I got the mustache today, should I, should I sign it Juan Valdez? <laughs> yes. Okay. Now we're just putting that right over here to Michael for him to do what he wants to do. Uh, man. Good trip so far. I'm excited. This tree that you can't see, and then this tree right here is going to be my hanging points for the night. The weather's beautiful. It was about 80 degrees today, and it's mid March or late March, I mean. So, uh, pretty nice weather. Yeah, not 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 too bad. <clears throat> so you can't get weird with me because I just get weird right back, and then we have to back away for a few minutes and not talk to each other. I'm going over here. Yeah. The odd part is we're going to have to bunk bed the hammocks tonight because I brought my Eno house fly, but 
He doesn't have a tarp for his hammock. He's using it. So we're going to share a tarp. I call top bunk. No, I got top bunk. I got top bunk. I think we should paper, rock, scissors for it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I got top bunk, son. So this is the hammock set up for tonight. I've got my ENO mosquito net hooked up. It's got the under quilt, top quilt, make my hammock here. Uh, the top quilt, or the top hammock here, is now Michael. And, uh... But this is his hammock for the night. I don't think he's sleeping with the under quilt. I've got a pad for him if he needs one. If he doesn't, he'll be all right. He's got a sleeping bag and stuff he's going to be using. But uh, I figured we'll do bunk bed style since he doesn't have a tarp that he can use. So I just took my, you know, house fly. I just ran it across him. And hopefully this works pretty good for us. If it doesn't, well, he's staying in the cabin. But I think it'll work good. What else can we do this fine evening, my young man? I don't know, but I think we came to an agreement earlier that if, if I have to pee, that I just pee directly onto his hammock. That's not what's going to happen. I could have swore that's what we agreed to. Hey, he did learn a lesson not to jump down from the hammock, though. Show your foot. I, that stump isn't my friend. Well, <laughs> hold on. Uh, yeah, that's that's uh not good. Yeah. So now on, when you get down, just holler at me. Well, if I miss the stump, I'll be all right. where it freighted. it. Was in I would like to think that uh, I'm the Appalachian Amazonian with the blowgun. You like that? It's weird, isn't Appalachian it? Appalachian Amazonian. Yep. You can take dry bark like this and usually fray it out on the inside. It's got these little fibrous layers. A lot of people make rope out of this. Uh, willow, birch, a lot of these are the best for this. Uh, if you're making fire though, birch is the absolute best wood in my opinion. But what I'll do is they're kind of made in this fibrous layer. Just kind of tear it up a little bit, taking your hands, roll it around. It really breaks up the fibers, and you can make a little bird's nest out of it. I've actually got a bird's nest made out of it right here. And what I'll do is I'll create a dome, the bird's nest effect. And I'm, I'm going to use my ferro rod, and I'll start this fire with it in just a moment. But i got to get some more kindling for it, or else it'll be a waste of you know, effort. Pretty quick response there. Just a couple strikes and it was already lit. This stuff's uh, like magic. I don't really know what bark that is. It's not birch. Uh, I want to say it might have been poplar at some point, but it's dead wood now. Hey, two, three. Oh, my nuts. You just <laughs> done something awful with my, ah! Stop, I'm gonna fall out the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Decided to get in our hammocks a little early. It's about 6:30 right now, which is kind of nice because uh, time, you know, when spring forward, fall back, the time changes. Uh, it usually gets dark about 6:30, 6 o'clock, something like that during the winter time. And until the actual time changes, it doesn't get dark until about eight or so. It's starting to get dark about eight o'clock now, but I think we're having fun with our uh, little experience here. Yeah. How you like it up there? Oh, I'm loving it. <clears throat> The best part is, if a bear was to attack, I'll be the first one eating, so he's more protected than I am. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think we're doing pretty good. I think it's a good night. It was storming a little bit. It's not as bad now, so we're just kind of chilling out. I run my ENO uh, mosquito net during the summer months. I run it over top of my ridge line that I create for my hammock. And actually, I might be able to touch Mike's butt here in just a second. Yeah, yep, that's what you're doing. Touch his butt. Anyways, so my ridge line's on the inside here, and I just take my loops and connect it. Even though it's on the inside, it's still connected on. So you it's take still loop to what? My loops, <laughs> and it's still there. And then what I do with my ridge line itself is I actually take my light, I put it up there, and I put my knife up there because during the middle of the night, you never know when you might need that uh, for something. I don't really know, but whatever. I usually run that there, and then uh, I sleep pretty comfortably that way. I'll turn my light on of the night and usually read a book, as long as it's not directly in my eyes. And then just turn it way, way, way down. You can't hang a light from my rectum. It's starting to get a little bit chilly out. Uh, I've been in the hammock for quite a while now. It was raining nonstop forever there. And uh, it's finally caught a break. I'm still underneath my hammock and my tarp and everything. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that there. So, but. I got my chicken and dumplings meal I'm going to eat for dinner, I believe. That's my last meal for the day. 
I'm actually going to split this up with Michael up here because it's a two person serving and I just don't want that much. Uh, I always crave sweets when I'm out here for some reason but I never pack them and I don't know why. You know, when you woke me up, I thought it was like morning and we were leaving. Really? Yeah, that's why I asked you what time it was. We do have to leave pretty early, though. Well, that's why I thought you was done. Got a big trip ahead of me tomorrow. But for tonight, we got chicken and duck ones, my good sir. Now we wait about 10 minutes. So freaking good. Chicken and dumplings by Mountain House is my favorite freeze dried food. They're amazing. They're, I mean, they're kick ass, really. There's, there's no other way to explain it. Peas, carrots, chicken, dumplings, big nice gravy with a lot of seasoning already naturally in it. It's one of the only meals that I can eat by them without salt and pepper. It's awesome. It. Yeah, mountainhouse.com. Uh, it's by Oregon Freeze Dried Food Company. Amazing. Check them out. Well, guys, it's. 11-ish o'clock or so. It's about time for me to actually hit the bed, which I'm already in the bed, but time for me to go to sleep. Good night. We're at 9 a.m. So comfortable. I don't want to move. It's probably about hammock camping. You never want to get up. Mike's still out of it. He fell asleep way before I did last night. And he's been out of it ever since. He's pretty tired. It rained like crazy last night. Non stop. It's finally stopped today, but everything's soaked. It's all good though. I'll be getting up shortly. There's my alarm. It's time to get up. <laughs> Damn rooster's always crowing. Uh, this is the part I always dread. Getting up and actually moving in the mornings. Usually because it's colder and I usually go to bed and I'm always so warm for my underquilt. Hammock gear, zero degree model, extra fluff, so it's actually rated pretty low. And then I got the top quilt by the burrow. It's a uh, hammock gear also. And I just stay so toasty of the night. And I just wake up and it's cold outside. And I'm just like, Ugh, I don't want to move. But I really got to pee. Really bad. Hey. What's up, baby? <laughs> Get out. We got a thing to do today. <sighs> Queen Barefoot was cool yesterday. This morning it's not that cool. I need my shoes on. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's a little nipply out. <laughs> Williamson. Yes, Fredrickson. It's time for us to bid you adieu. Alrighty then. Very fun. Shaking with our left hands is uh not proper, Williamson. And that's it. Police call your area. Make sure you check all your trash. Get everything together. And then uh, you have to go down, like, subscribe, and comment because if you don't, it's illegal. Uh, we're making that a new law up here in the woods. You got to do it legally. Legally. <laughs>